With uh, 2023 beckoning and the election frenzy in the country becoming more stronger each day, politicians are increasingly becoming visible, making more and more promises. Primary education from grade 1 to grade 7 must be provided completely free. Every village in three years, there will be a ball in your run on the solar. But are these promises going to be fulfilled? The electorate is pondering on who to vote for in the council, parliamentary, and even presidential election. We bring you the candidate where we interrogate their plans, their manifestos, their programs to make sure that we give you information to make a choice on who to vote for. The candidate on Sly Media TV. We just uh, finished the election process. Are you happy as the ruling party? There's the war veterans with the outcome of the election. Thank you. Uh, in my capacity as a secretary for the war veterans, responsible of the war veterans league, which is the third wing of the party ruling partisan bill, I am excited that uh, finally uh, the process, the election process has come to an end with a victory where the war veterans they have fought, lost battles, and won battles. And this battle, finally, the commander, Homer Edil Nangagwa, is also excited that we have won the elections. And uh, I must bring it to your attention that uh, the war veterans must be thanked for the job that they have done to go down to the grassroots, to go down to the villages, to go down to ourselves, to educate and uh, further conscientize people that this is a revolution and uh, it is a continuation of the revolution. The same reason why we fought is the same reason why we needed to defend the gains uh, of the liberation struggle. And uh, it is our duty as uh, war veterans to defend the interests of the party, the interests of the people, that is to defend the war that exists between those who exploited us for the past hundred years until we got independence <coughs> today. So uh, it is a continuation of the war. It is our duty to defend the interests of our people. We are aware that the only reason that the enemy has to try and run away from the truth to not to accept the outcome of a democratic uh, process, the elections, is the question of land. We knew about it before we got independence. So Zimbabwe uh, is nothing else other than a, a sovereign state. It is implementing what is supposed to be implemented. Um, the war veterans, now at that age, at a young age, my war veterans are kind of wondo, kuno wira nyaya, ye one man, one vote. You have read history, the French Revolution. They were fighting for universal, they call it universal suffrage. Nyaya, one man, one vote. So, as a party, Zan PF, we still maintain our revolutionary principle, the principle of minority being subordinate to majority. And this is what the elections have revealed. The people of Zimbabwe have spoken. And any other individual has no right not to accept what the people of Zimbabwe have said. The people of Zimbabwe have spoken loudly and clearly that they have chosen they are only beloved. A listening president, Comedy Edim Nangagwa, who leads a revolutionary party 
to be their leader in the next five years. And no one has the right to stop that from happening. Tangataka Zanir Gokumakurano Gonabuska Anga Gudabuska Bazan. Nobody spoke about it. Nobody said anything about it. Until people of Zimbabwe decided to fight. And so they fought and won. So they are defending what they fought for. Remember, ZANU-PF is a right to, to rule this country by virtue of the path that it chose to get, to gain independence. Kutititongi, tine Hamadza Kafa, tine vanu wakarara u Mozambique, tine vanu wakarara u Zambia, tine vanu wakarara in the countryside. Kutitishike pa kuzitonga, Vamunangagwa is a leader we run Iwaru as we speak and we are not going to uh, budge. The stage at which this contradiction is is not yet antagonistic. We are people, we are Zimbabwean, uh, Zimbabweans and we should be able to, uh, to respect one another. One man, one vote, Takaya Achiva. Everyone else now has the right to vote. So we must respect okay. this constitution. It requires us to go to my elections after every five years. And that is what we have done. And who is who to then say it's now in void as we shunned at Nagata my elections and yet we have remained the constitution. So we are saying as war veterans, but you are not a pada, Ninigaini, Kutaura Zaunuda, Pamsurpe Nigaini. And yet I left school. I left gainful employment to go and fight. And those who did not fight, Vabti Taurus, Ranuda Pamsurpe Nigaini, as you can see. If the opposition is something constructive, if the opposition is something beneficial to the people of Zimbabwe in as far as economic development is concerned, there is no, they are not bad by the constitution to make a contribution. Because contributing to the, to the economic development of this nation is what the people want. And grounds my ideas out so that those ideas will be incorporated uh, in the economic development program of this nation. Besides, the economic development programs that are coming from the president are accepted from parliament, where they are participating. My elections, they are accepted to do that. We knew that they were going to do it when the enemy then said, unless we win, then elections are free and fair. When elections, election process, there is only one winner. In, in as far as the 23rd of August elections, the winner is the ZANPF. The winner is the president, Comrade E. Dim Nangago. And no one is going to, to can change that because we have become, we, we did it very constitutional. Uh, ZANPF is committed to its revolutionary principles. And these are the principles. I think I'm done. Unless if anyone has a question. Okay, and what's your take uh, on the Observer reports as the whole veteran? Amadangu. The story is very long anyway. But uh, uh, when you are an observer, you have not taken that <coughs> country's constitution and the sovereignty and the dictate to them as you think. You are just a, you are just you are just an observer. Like in a football pitch, there is only one referee. The linesman may indicate something uh, within uh, as the game prog progresses. But if it is wrong, it is the duty of the the, the referee to rule that out. An observer is an observer. You only observe, you only see, witness what is happening. Any observer, like uh, the Mumba, 
guy. He failed God. He is a pastor. He had a very big con congregation, which he failed to pastor. A congregation is not a population. And so he failed God. And now he's coming down to fail men. Like what the devil did when he wanted to, to, to destroy the kingdom of God. He came to destroy men. So he doesn't, he doesn't need to be like that. He doesn't need, he needs to understand that it doesn't pay to be evil. After all, we are a sovereign state. We are not going to be ruled by the rules that govern the, the observer missions. That's how he thinks. That's how I'm, I'm the good or I'm to choose the words that I want. And does that have to do, does that have anything to do with the one who is not here? I'm choosing my own words. So it's his words. I don't think in the wisdom of regional leadership and international leadership, they can be worried about Mumba who failed to look after a church and now he thinks he can look after Zimbabwe. He can't. Yesterday, the leader of uh, the opposition, Nelson Chamisa, said he is going to form uh, his own government. What's your take as well as on such sentiments? You cannot form a government within a government. It's being kuping. He, he needs to be taken to a psychiatric uh, hospital. You cannot form a government within a government. It's not practical. Kanandimio. How do you form a government within another government? You cannot do that. I don't think he, Angaru Tambag. Angaru Sek. Is that it? No, only questions. Okay, thank you, comment. I can only take one more other question to that appeal. Critics are saying Zanpe only wants to hear positive things from the observers especially if you are to look on, on previous elections. Now that the observers have actually given something which is with the, the recommendations to seek, then you are now crying for. What's your take on that one? Are you not also crying for this Zimbabwe? You as a journalist, mm -hmm. we are not talking about that. We will hear from Zek. Zek absorbs every sh election shock and we hear from Zek, not from ZANPF. ZANPF is just a participant, just one of the participants. Do you agree? So we hear from Zek. If we don't want to hear it, we will always take our issues to Zek. So it's not about ZANPF, it's about the referee, which is Zek. One more question if there is one, that's the last one. All right, uh, Comrade Maia, the opposition uh, TPC is uh, complaining and are uh, disputing uh, the election results that we uh, read out by Zek. What is the best advice would you give uh, to the opposition uh, TPC or which best way would they lodge their complaints? Human beings naturally would choose peace, would choose love, would choose development, would choose tolerance. Anyone else would choose, they would choose these positive things. And this is what I advise the, 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 the opposition. They have not done enough for, them, for themselves. They would have organized their people to victory is what we did. And what I advise them is to go back to the drawing board and be able to organize their own people if they can. But the best thing is to join Zambia. That's what the opposition should do. They should join the NPF for development purposes, for the sake of the people, for the sake of unity, for the sake of love of the nation. Thank you. With uh, 2023 beckoning and the election frenzy in the country becoming more stronger each day, politicians are increasingly becoming visible making more and more promises. Primary education.
from grade one to grade seven must be provided completely free. Every village in three years, there will be a ball in your run on the solar. But are these promises going to be fulfilled? The electorate is pondering on who to vote for in the council, parliamentary, and even presidential election. We bring you the candidate where we interrogate their plans, their manifestos, their programs to make sure that we give you information to make a choice on who to vote for. The candidate on Sly Media TV.